Hey, welcome back, y'all. Um, today's video, uh, I've been, uh, I'm gonna be reviewing this uh, OBD or computer scanner that I picked up from Amazon. I've had issues with the truck, the check engine light keeps going on and off. I've already replaced the crankshaft sensor and then I replaced the throttle body position sensor. Um, but it went off for a few days, came back on. I took it back to Riley's, they gave me the same codes. Well, instead of going back and forth, I decided to order the scanner. I did go cheap, I paid about 20, under 25 bucks for it. So we're gonna test it out, see how it goes. But first of all, I do wanna thank um, Sean and your crew down at uh, Lincoln Street Wine and Bar in Fredericksburg, Texas. So if you guys are down there, Fredericksburg, Texas, definitely make sure you go down to Lincoln Street and check out Lincoln Street Wine and Cigar Bar. The crew is amazing, I had a blast. All our, all our crew that went down there really enjoyed the spot. And follow, follow your girl down there too, Alex, at Alex in the Raw on Instagram. Uh, definitely enjoyed the customer service. Like I said, we are looking forward to being back down there. But let's get back to this. Um, as we can said, uh, we're going to go ahead and review this scanner here. I'm going to go ahead and open this box. This is what it uh, looks like. Okay. Um, haven't opened it yet, so we'll see what we both, uh, what we all get here. Um, I'll post the link on the bottom. Uh, I'll see how it works out. So as you can see, like I said, uh, fairly simple is the connector. Uh, I don't even know if it comes with batteries yet. So and the instruction manual. So very, very simple package here. We're looking at two things. Okay. Basically, we have the connector ready to go. That's what they send it with batteries and ready to use, but. All right, so let's check something out, all right? All right, so like I said, I'm a rookie, I don't know. So right now, well, basically, it doesn't come with any batteries. It hooks up, as soon as you hook it up, um, it's gonna produce its own power from the vehicle, all right, rookie? Like I said, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that first, Put the make sure obviously you put the car in on, all right, to on position. Then once it's in the on position, uh, you're gonna go ahead and take the connector and bring it down here. Okay, right where the plug is, okay. Once, once it's plugged, we got power, okay. So, now that we have power, basically it's gonna, you'll start look. okay. You wanna go ahead and hit the VIN button, okay. It's gonna start recognizing your vehicle and reading it. We hit okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go move, moving this cursor. Okay, it takes it back up to the up position. You just got two buttons, so right there. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And there we go. It's telling me it's got, it's, uh, got two codes, okay? So we're gonna hit okay to read codes. And as you can see right here, it's basically the codes that they gave me when I went to AutoZone. All right, P0121 was one of them, which of course it's telling me that it's the throttle or pedal position sensor. Okay, a couple things there. I'm just gonna have to see what that is, but it is giving me the same code. I'm gonna go ahead and go next to the next code and P2127. So, uh, it's good so far. It looks like it's pretty good. Okay, um, I don't know what the position the pedal position sensor Apparently there's something down here. But there's a few things I'll do another video about troubleshooting it and see what happens right now I just want to do a review on this one. See how quick it was um, See how how it read the codes um, I said I got it for man like 22 bucks. So it works out pretty good. Let's look at something now I'm gonna turn it on. I want to see if we go back if I say erase the codes, what is it going to do? If I hit erase codes, erase trouble codes, are you sure? We'll say yes. Erase, turn, okay. Turn key on or engine off. Alright, it 
worked. So as we can see, the uh, engine light, check engine light went off. I'm gonna say that it's not bad, all right? Uh, for for 22, uh, what is it, 20, like yeah, under 25 bucks. I think it was 22, 23 dollars. Um, it worked, it read the codes properly. It matched what they had told me before, matched some of the issues that I had repaired. Um, and it also ended up uh, erasing the codes, okay? So right now I just gotta figure out what the heck is going on because now this uh, traction control keeps popping up. So, and that's what's causing my engine to go. So I don't know, they say that if it's the throttle body that it brings it back to that. But uh, just for the review, like I said, I'll post the link uh, of this um, Moto Power OBD uh, scanner and it works for me. I think it's gonna be a keeper. So I'll try it out in other vehicles. But so far as you saw, it worked out. Hope this worked for you. Hope you like it. Um, Keep subscribing to my channel, so I'll share it. Uh, I appreciate any feedback. Thank you guys. Like I said, I'm not a pro, I'm not a mechanic. I learn along with you.